Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use a very simple tool by Sustainable by Design, which helps you to look at the effectiveness of a shading overhang above a window. So you'll find this at susdesign.com slash overhang. I'll put the link below the video. So this very simple tool, as you can see, um, show you how the overhang will shade your window for the different times of the day and for the different months. So the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you have the correct latitude, um, which is for the geographical location of your site. And then you need to ensure that you have the, current orient the correct orientation for your window. Let's, so let's imagine we are maybe south, southeast here. And here you have various uh, dimensions. So what's important is to ensure that all the dimensions are going to be in the same unit. So it doesn't matter whether you are using meters or feet or whatever. What's important is that it's all the same unit. So let's say we're using meters. So perhaps we have a window that's a meter and a half by a meter and a half. And the width of the overhang is indicated here. So um, let's say that it's quite a wide overhang, which would represent perhaps a continuous overhang over um, windows. And the depth of the window is how deep it is. So let's say it's a meter deep. And here, this is too high. So let's just put it much, put it much closer to the window. And the offset here is whether it is offset in comparison to the window. So let's put it at zero. And here you can see that this diagram here represents how much shading is provided by this uh, overhang for the di different times of the year, the different months, and the different times of the day. So here you can see that the shading is very effective during the summer, but actually quite a lot of light comes through during the winter. So this is really what you want. And if you're looking at the different months, so let's put it in the summer, you can see that this shading is really effective during the summer month. However, you get a lot of light going through during the summer, which is what's normal if you're designing a shading device that's horizontal um, on the south facing facade. This is um, often what you get. A lot of shading, well, this is what you get, not often, always. It's what you get if you have um, south facing horizontal shading. A lot of shading in the summer and not so much in the winter. So this is working quite well, I can see, but you can see this is quite a, a sort of um, a deep overhang. It's one meter deep. So perhaps. This is too much. So if you try to reduce it a little bit to maybe 0.9 or 0.8, then maybe you're achieving a better balance here um, and have a more realistic overhang for this window. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this. And um, I will post another tutorial this evening about daylight design. Bye-bye.